Hello friends, in this video we, we are going to see how to find the running sum of an array. So it's a one dimensional array. So it should be very simple. So let's say we have an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how do we find the running sum? So running sum means sum till current index and we uh, run from left to right. So when we are here at the first position the running sum is just 1. The sum of all the elements to the left. So there is nothing to the left of 1. So running sum till this index is 1. Running sum till this index 2 is sum of these two that is 3. Running sum till third index is 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6. Then we will add this complete thing 10 and finally 15. So this result will be same size as the input array. So how did we find it? So one uh, naive way of doing this would be that for each index scan from 0 till this index current index and calculate the sum. When you reach here the second index you again start from beginning and reach till here. So on for nth index. So that way you will take for first one one uh, time step for second one you iterate from beginning till second for third beginning till third and so on so this is very familiar sum n into n plus 1 by 2 so you see it's o of n square so this is a naive way of doing it but we will not do that so you if you see that uh, if you have 1 2 3 4 5 so the running sum here is 1 running sum this is 1 plus 2 then we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 then we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so you see that while calculating this uh, sum of first second third and fourth in the previous step we had already calculated sum from 1 to 3 so this was already there so we could have just used the previous sum and added the current element so that would be constant similarly while calculating the third running sum uh, in the previous step we have already calculated 1 plus 2 so no need to again scan we could have used the previous value and added the current element so again constant time so for n elements it will take 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 or some constant times 1 maybe 2 and uh, so O of n and now depending on uh, whether you are allowed to modify the input uh, input itself or not you can take additional O of n time O of n space or O of 1 space so I will call it O of 1 so if you are not allowed to use uh, not allowed to modify the input array then you can create an additional uh, result so let's uh, see this problem in lead code So this is the problem and you can go through a couple of examples. So uh, we will go with the case where we are allowed to modify it. If it's a const then you are not allowed to modify it. You will have to create another result vector. But in this case we will modify it as it is. So you see that running sum for the first element remains the same because there is nothing to the left of this and you could have added some checks if uh, uh, zero length was allowed but in this case length is always more than one so you can skip that check so what we will do we will start from one we are modifying this uh, vector itself and zeroth index remains same And that's it so this loop takes o of n time so overall is o of n and the space is o of 1 
the solution is accepted and if you see the run time uh, we are pretty much here it takes uh, 4 millisecond if you run a few times it can take 0 millisecond also now let's uh, do it in java and python there is not much change required Java solution is also accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python 3. and the python solution is also accepted